Let's bring in Don Burnett. He's the founder and CEO of this company, Kodiak Robotics. He's here. Don, you look like you're 25. Congratulations uh, <laughs> and welcome. And why is it called Kodiak? Oh, thank you. Um, well, Kodiak, uh, it was a, it was a, it was one of those things where we we're looking for a uh, a name that was. Uh, had the right feel to it. You know, the Kodiak bear is the largest and most aggressive bear mm. in the world. Um, and also there's a Kodiak plane, which is kind of like a hauling plane. So we kind of felt like there was a little bit of a twist there. That makes a lot of sense. I didn't know that. I was thinking more like Alaska connection. So these are, we should say, they're not on the road in West Texas. They're being used in West Texas. What can they do and what powers this technology? Well, Kodiak's RoboTruck is a revolution in the way goods are moved. So as you said, there's no longer a driver in the cab. These trucks are moving completely on their own. This has been promised for over a decade, and now it's finally here, and it's being deployed in production. These trucks can go to where the owner tells them to go. So we work with a customer called Atlas Energy Solutions, and they have an interface that they can say, go pick up goods here, go drop it off there, and they're moving sand for Atlas out in West Texas. But not on the highways. Like, I'm not going to drive down the high. These are not approved on the highways yet, I imagine. Not yet. So the, the technology is effectively the same as what we use on the highway. We actually work with a bunch of com great companies uh, for highway delivery as well. There, we still have a safety driver. We're working with folks like J.B. Hunt and Warner Enterprises and Ikea. And so the technology is right around the corner. It'll be on the highways before you know it. Yeah. So which technology? There's LiDAR and what's the other one? And this is the whole fight between, you know, Tesla and, and Waymo, right? Yeah, so we use the more of the Waymo sensor suite approach. We have camera, we have LiDAR, we have radar, that we think that those sensors all have really important strengths to actually keep the truck safe. For instance, out in the desert, there's a lot of dust. Radar sees right through that dust, and so it's a very powerful sensor. Uh, but we have an end-to-end -end AI solution that's powering this, this, uh, this system. Uh, it really is state-of-the-art, and it's able to drive in a variety of diverse environments, including over the road on the highway, surface streets, and then, as you see here, off-road environments. Who created and developed that self-driving technology? Is it you guys, or is it a third party? That's our, that's our core business. We are the creators of the AI software that does the driver. So the one significant thing about this announcement is that it's the first time a customer is actually owning and operate the, operating the vehicle. So we're not, we're not running the assets like other autonomous fleets that you might know of. We purely work on the AI software. That's our, that's our proprietary system.